prove this. Obviously, you'd start with the right side. No, you wouldn't. Let's start with the left side. Now, on the numerator, I see a cos. I'm going to factorize it out, see what happens, Mike. So you have 2 sine x minus 1. Now, on the denominator, I see a bunch of signs. Can't really do much there. Negative cos squared. But I have 1. 1 minus cos squared is sine squared, which I can then add to this, right? 1 minus cos squared is sine squared, so I get minus sine x, sine squared x, plus sine squared x. And I can factorize out the sine as well, so I get cos x, 2 sine x minus 1, over sine x, which you'll get negative 1. This gives you 2 sine squared. When you take out the sine, you just get 2 sine. Boom. Cot. Exactly. Nice. <laughs> Click the link in the description to join one of my maths courses. Nice.